Hey guys, it's Mitty here, and at first glance, this may seem like an ordinary Wi-Fi battle, but trust me, it is not. It is a Omega Ruby slash Alpha Sapphire battle, and if you guys enjoy these, please leave a like. This one's going to be post commentated. I haven't done this in a while, so it's against one of my good friends, Kevin, and his link will be in the description, uh, and his side of the battle is actually going to be posted really soon, too, but I think the new animation sequences, battle sequences, and arenas look amazing. And I really had no synergy when I made this team. I kind of just like put some stuff from my old game into this game. So initially when I let off with my Heatran, I'm like, let's set up Stealth Rocks. And then like once I immediately clicked the Stealth Rock button, I'm like, well, he might taunt. But luckily it, it ended up paying off for me because he ended up going for his own Stealth Rocks. Now, I wasn't expecting the light screen here. So I was going for the Fire Blast just to get as much damage off on this as I could. I also knew I had to get some initial damage off on it just in case he carried Focus Sash. But also on that note, we don't exactly have items on all of our Pokemon because this is still like us having a battle mid-game and we don't have all the items on, at least I don't, I don't have enough items on all my pokes so it's a bit wonky. So I figured there's no point in attacking him now because he has the light screen up so I decided that I'm going to bring in my Greninja and attack from the physical side because that's really the best thing I can do right now. Unfortunately, he really doesn't like this matchup with Salamence and he's probably expecting an ice type attack coming his way so he ends up switching back out into a Zelf maybe as a fodder of some sort but I ended up predicting that and I went for the U-turn just in case he ended up switching into anything else at least I would get switch initiative to try and counter whatever he went into luckily it was a Zelf so it killed it now it puts it in a weird spot where I'm gonna have switch initiative and he's gonna pretty much counter whatever I bring in but he also has the light screen up so here I ended up going into my Salamence and I kinda had to because I actually did not have too many physical attackers on this team so I figured Salamence was the best fastest option unfortunately he does carry a Weavile here and I assume that it's really not safe for me to stay in especially against a potential like Ice Shard or something like that and he predicted that and went for the Pursuit and he got a good amount of damage off to where I might not even be able to survive another Stealth Rock so I was predicting a nice type attack and I went into Heatran, hoping that that would be the best choice. So now I have a Heatran out and I think that even with a Fire Blast, I can kill it. Luckily I live with a low kick, not with a lot, but I do live. And I'm able to get off a Fire Blast. The animation for Fire Blast looks so good too. And I honestly just love the animations of this game so much. So I also take out the Weavile just with one shot. And I don't have to worry about it low kicking me anymore or anything of that sort. And now he brings in Arcanine. I'm assuming he knows that he's going to outspeed me. And he doesn't have to worry about an earth power. So I leave Heechan to stay in as fodder because I'd end up coming in and taking stealth rock damage and dying anyway. So it's my, I bet my mind as well see what he locks himself into. And it happens to be wild charge. So I know I can come in safely with Rotom and he's not going to want to stay in. So he ends up withdrawing his Arcanine as I end up Volt Switching here because it's just the best option for me right now. And he goes into his Salamence here, which is alright. I think I can deal with Salamence pretty well and the Intimidate won't bother me at all. So I ended up Volt Switching out here and don't quite remember what I switched into. It was probably Greninja because I do know the light screen is still up so my special attacks really aren't doing a lot at all. Actually, I go into Sceptile here. I thought that Salamence was low enough to where I can Mega Evolve and get my, whatever, get my, um, boost and then still be able to take him out. But the problem is, this Sceptile I have is the only Sceptile I had from my last game. Its moveset happened to be Energy Ball, Leaf Storm, Hidden Power, I don't know what. It might have been Fire. I was really hoping that, that um, Energy Ball would have taken him out. Unfortunately, his Dragon Pulse is going to take me out. And this uh, Sceptile did not happen to carry Dragon Pulse. However, there you go. There's Shiny uh, Mega Sceptile for you, which looks really awesome. Although, dies to like any super effective attack. Especially Ice Weaknesses. So, here I figured it's best for me to go into Greninja. And I can probably scare him out. Or at least kill him with a priority Water Shuriken. And not have to worry about that. So, I ended up just going for Water Shuriken and just taking him out. And at the same time, like... Uh, my intuition kept like thinking that these Pokemon still had items, but at, but we did not have items at the time. However, just like instinctively, I'm like, well, that has a choice scarf. That has, you know, that and that, but it really didn't. So he goes into Rotom, and I'm able to get off a of U-turn and get off a lot of damage, and his Citrus activates, which kind of makes it really annoying. But now I figured that 
a anything I bring in um, is it's probably best for me to bring in Salmon. Salmon's is like my fodder here, and if I don't survive the Stealth Rock, at least I'll see what he was planning to go for. And I actually survived with 9 HP, and it actually lucks out for me because he went for the Volt Switch, which means that I'm going to sack my thing off. He's going to switch initiative, and then I can basically counter whatever he brings in next, which is perfect for me. I'm fine with that scenario, and I've weakened this Rotom too, so at least I know I need to keep Greninja around because his speed really helps me right now. And he goes into his Arcanine knowing he can get Intimidate off, plus his Arcanine is probably pretty fast and maxed out. And I went to my Greninja here. I thought that he was going to assume that I was going to go for the Water Shark and basically to take him out. And I assumed that he was going to switch out into, you know, pretty much any other Pokemon. Kind of like Metagross or something. Something that he knew could take it. So I went for the Night Slash hoping for the switch, which did not pay off. And now the um, Extreme Speed is going to end up taking me out, unfortunately. So I figured that I better go into something that's physically defensive. So I ended up going into my Rotom. I take some Stealth Rock damage, but at the very least, I know I'll be able to kill him at, kill him, um, at the range of health that he's at. And his Extreme Speed really isn't going to do a lot. I didn't want to I didn't want to risk the Hydro Pump miss, so I ended up going and Volt Switching. So his last two Pokemon, I believe, are Metagross and one other thing. I know Needle King, Metagross and uh, Rotom uh, Grass or Mo. So I know Nidoking with my moveset can handle both of those I think pretty well. So he goes into the Rotom in this case and I can outspeed it and kill it with a poison jab which is stab and all the other fancy stuff so poison jab is gonna, able, gonna take this thing out easily and the last thing that he has left on his team is a Metagross so I know that as long as well as long as he doesn't carry protect I can outspeed him first turn so, he ends up Mega Evolving, and I just go for the Earthquake. I am a physical Needle King, not a special Needle King, so I didn't carry Earth Power. But I got off a lot of damage with Earthquake. I knew I was going to die to any, like, Psych-type attack he was going to throw my way. It did a huge chunk of damage, just not enough, unfortunately. And his Zen Ebba is going to end up taking me out, and there's just nothing I could do about that. And I'm left with a Rotom, which probably cannot take a Zen Headbutt either, so I'm in a pickle. Uh, there is the possibility that he might miss, but at the same time, I'm like, if he misses, I'm really hoping Volt Switch takes it out, because he's at very low health, but Volt Switch leaves him at so little HP, and, um, in the end, he won anyway, despite the miss, and I was scared that Hydro Pump was gonna miss, ironically, but it ended up working out. It was a pretty good battle, and I'm gonna have a lot more of these, plus I'm gonna be streaming on YouTube for, uh, for more of these, uh, Wi-Fi battles, so... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like. And as always, I love you all and have a wonderful day. And bye.